What's up, worlds? Day Seven Worlds Gaming here today. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we are gonna be doing the breakdown for the 1,000 IQ Dal Jit play from Orange Rock. If you guys enjoyed this kind of videos, do me a favor, smash the damn like button for me. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe with notifications on. And if you're wondering why I'm breaking this down, is because you guys have requested it. You left it in the comments below. Or you either send it to me via Instagram. So if you guys want me to go ahead and break down a certain team, if you guys want me to go ahead and break down a certain play, please let me know in the comments below. If not, follow me on Instagram and let me know because I'm currently planning on interviewing some some players as well. You guys want me to go ahead and interview Scout? I'm gonna try to interview Scout. I'm gonna see if maybe I can go ahead and interview Kerry, Daljeet, and other players as well. If you are not from India, maybe you are from um south asia maybe you are from north america europe south america who knows just let me know who you want me to go ahead and interview or what you want me to break down because a lot of this stuff is based on what you guys request now without further ado let's go ahead and get started as i mentioned we are gonna break down the clutch play of daljeet being able to clutch uh, a 1b6 i think it was we'll go ahead and uh, see a little bit more but the reason why we're gonna go ahead and start right here is because two of the players from Daljeet from Orange Rock are currently down. Mavi being the IGL. And by the way, keep in mind, some of this stuff that I might say, I kind of, you guys tell me some of that stuff. For example, Mavi, I know it's the IGL because a lot of you guys told me in the comments when I was watching the live stream. So shout out to you. But if for some reason that information is mistaken, please correct me in the comments. If you think somebody else is the IGL or anything like that, let me know in the comments, right? Your guys' information helps me out a ton. Now, Orange Rock is currently just sandwiched in between Marcos Gaming and also Mega. So we're going to see what happens here. Pretty much the other two players are going to head and get finished. We don't really see that gameplay. I wish we would have been able to see that gameplay. But sadly we don't. We're kind of just left to see here on the kill feed. And you're going to see both of them just go down. Ranto goes down right there. And Mavi is going to follow suit pretty soon right there by Mega. So absolutely pinned down. Not really nothing that Dalji can do besides just trying to hide and just trying to play smart. And that's the main reason why I want to go ahead and break down this um, this gameplay. Because it's very smart what he does. And this kind of brings me flashbacks of something that we saw. Um, actually, I believe it was in, uh, in Malaysia. In the uh, qualifiers for the grand finals. Alright, give me a second right here. Gonna try to go ahead and turn on the volume a little bit. I like the Hindi casting. Shout out to my boy K18. But right here, look at this. He has already rotated, right? And he's laying down. Keep in mind, this is this is good. This is what you want to see here. A lot of people, for some reason, think that being a snake, it's a bad thing. It's not when you're playing for money. It's not when you're playing for esports. If you're playing this tryhard in classic mode then that's completely different. But if you're playing this try hard because you're going to win some money, completely normal for me. I think it's two different standards. If you disagree, please tell me in the comments below why you disagree. But right here, Mega still thinks that Dalji is there. They know that there's at least one player left. They saw the kill feed. And trust me, these players keep an eye out on the kill feed a lot. And I mean a lot. Whoa, hello there. How's it going? Now, Cell trying to do the same thing. Except right now, he's doing it way too early and i mean way too early look in the mini map where daljeet is he's inside the map he doesn't have to do anything he just kind of has to chill see what the other zone is gonna be like and that's what you want to do this is a great time we saw back in berlin as well last year sexless being able to do a place like this all right right here Celt. i believe Celt is just doing this a little bit too early i don't think they have any smoke so that's what they're doing it so i understand it but if they definitely had smokes i'm pretty sure he would get up and just run for it and they need to go ahead and watch out for team 13 on the top left hand side all right here we go let me go ahead and see that overview one more time daljeet in a perfect position honestly between two rocks all he has to worry about is from behind or the front he knows he has a basic idea of where uh, marcos gaming was and where mega is since his teammates were killed by them so great awareness here by them that's that's actually a pretty damn good spot solid solid spot honestly 
Let's go ahead and fast forward a little bit more. We're going to see some of the teams starting to get knocked. It is eight teams still left in this kind of circle. People are going to start getting knocked regardless. Now, I want to keep an eye out. If for some reason anybody comes near Daljeet, right here. Oh, he's actually on the other side of the rock. Okay, that's interesting. I like this play right here by Marcos Gaming. Not bad. We see Godlike now starting to move at the top. With the top Frager carry. That boy's insane. He went insane in the finals. Loved seeing it. Look at him. He's still going insane. There's really not much you can do here besides doing that. If you don't have smokes, that's all you can do right there. But then look at Marcos Gaming. Oh. Okay. If you are going to snake, I think he was trying to shoot maybe this guy over here. What's his name? Surya? If I said the name wrong, please correct me. In Max Cash, I think he saw Surya and he was trying to try to see if we could, maybe he can knock him. But he wasn't actually, he wasn't even near him. He was trying to knock this guy, but he missed the shots, which gave his spot off right away. And now guess what? He's going to start looking this way. This team is going to start looking this way. So Red, I wish you wouldn't have shot right there. And that is the difference between... See, he gets knocked right away. And he gets finished too. And his teammate gets knocked too. So that right there, missing those shots. Yeah, sometimes a little bit of patience. And the reason why I want to highlight that a little bit more is because patience, honestly, will win you games. So just be a little bit more patient. Even if you see somebody in front of you, doesn't mean you have to shoot them. Unless you most definitely have to. If they see you, then definitely go for it. But right here, you can tell Max had no idea that they were both right there. Especially, you gotta go ahead and shoot when you're at half health. Sorry, I just, I don't like that play. Uh, yeah, you, you, you're not gonna end up doing that in globals. And keep in mind, all the feedback that I give is based on globals. I like, I like thinking about globals and the type of quality uh, of players that they're gonna go up against so yeah that that won't be happening they'll they'll die right away like they did here all right we're gonna go ahead and fast forward a little bit more marcos gaming has two players dalji keep in mind dalji is still chilling he doesn't have to worry about anything we got like got like at the top gonna move up marcos gaming now starting to get shot here and keep in mind on what dalji is doing He's just being, he, he's just minding his own business. He's letting them fight it out. And this is exactly what you want to do for pro players, for any players out there. If you're ever in this situation, this is what you want to do. And look how close one of the mega players actually got to maybe spotting Daljeet right here. If he would have maybe ran for it, Daljeet would have been dead. So great plays there by Daljeet. Right there. Mega being able to go ahead and knock down somebody else from Marcos Gaming. Daljeet. He runs. He gets up and runs when he most definitely has to. Like right here. He has to run. You do not want to get touched by this zone. Because look how much, how much health is taken. And he lays down right away. That's what you want to see. Mega Marcus Gaming goes down right there. Now it comes to the finale, right? It goes between Godlike and our boys from Mega. And Daljeet is just waiting. Daljeet, right now, what he's doing is he's just healing up. He's getting ready for the fight that's gonna ensue. By the way, this this fight right here. Oh my gosh, brother. The smoke's coming in. More smoke's going in. The reason why they want the smokes is because they're currently outside the safe zone. They need to go ahead and move forward. I think he's going to get touched there by the Molotov and he's going to run back. Completely understandable. And right there, carry. By the way, that's that's a nasty carry. That is disgusting. He gets, he gets shot first and he's able to not... Oh my gosh, dude. Sorry. Hold up a second. Carry is not full health. Gets shot first. And this goes to show Carry's skill. Just want to point that out. Gets shot first, not even full health. And he's going to completely destroy somebody that's behind cover and full health. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting, dude. Alright. Now, we're down to two versus one here. Actually, two versus two. 
I want to go ahead and show you guys this full push right there. See, the, remember the smokes? They're coming to handy. Big handy right here. Kerry and Gil are going to try to figure out right there. Kerry's going to go for it. He thought somebody was behind that rock. Meanwhile, Daljeet, all he has to do here is just wait. Honestly, all you got to do right here, wait for the right opportunity. He has enough game awareness, enough game IQ to know how keep an eye out how many players are left, how many are currently knocked. And just know that whenever there's one player left standing, just stand up and shoot him. And that's ultimately what he's going to end up doing. So great, great, just great, smart, tactical, patience play there by Daljeet that I wanted to go ahead and highlight. Jill right here. They currently already have three. It's going to be three versus two. Carry just probably waiting a little bit longer to get some extra health. And here we go. This is when it becomes inevitable. Uh, actually, this is when it becomes like... And I just want to point one more thing out. I like this play right here that they're doing Mega. You see how they're currently just not so close to each other that they'll get knocked. They have one player looking out this side. Another player, I believe he, he or him might be able to go ahead and just keep an eye on the other side of the rock. I like that spread out. It's not bad. Even if they throw a grenade, they're more than likely going to go ahead and just knock one person out unless they get it right in the middle. Alright, and there goes the push. Carry gets knocked. Here, let me go ahead and replay that real quick. Carry goes for the push. Did Kerry go for the push before Gil got up? He did. Oh, Kerry. No. You can tell they were not ready for this push. This is when team communication comes in handy. Kerry starts pushing when Gil, I believe, is drinking something. He's going to at least be able to knock one. He gets knocked himself. And then Gil's going to go ahead and push up. And ultimately, it's between these two. I believe Mega is going to be able to go ahead and knock him out right there. And all that G has to do, as you can tell right there by the head marker, is just stand up and knock him out. Do you see how he moved up, though? He didn't just stay still where he was before. He moved up a little bit more. Look at him. Moving up little by little. That right there is huge. Come on, show me that G again. This little place like that won him the game. Moving up, getting a different angle, making sure he's able to see what's currently going on. This is that's just a beautiful patience play. Gonna get up and it's gonna get the finish. <laughs> Freaking OP man. OP dude. Ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you enjoyed this breakdown. If you did, do me a favor, smash the damn like button for me. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe with notifications on. I cannot wait for the PUBG Mobile Player League. I cannot wait for the PUBG Mobile World League. And that's the reason why I'm starting to do more of these breakdowns because uh, more than likely, I might end up being part of it. And I'm just starting to get myself used to, uh, used to just being back in esports. I'm glad esports is back. And as I mentioned, if you guys want me to go ahead and interview anybody or break any play down, it doesn't matter if it's from India, North America, South America, Europe, it doesn't matter. Please tell me in the comments below. The reason why I break down a lot of India gameplay is because that's what you guys request. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and break down. Thank you for watching. It's me, your boy, The Same Worlds Gaming. Make sure you follow me on Instagram for more information and interviews to come. And we'll see you in the next one. If you enjoyed that video, feel free to watch a previous video. Or if you're feeling lucky, select a random video. Thank you for watching and feel free to share this with anybody that you know, like PUBG Mobile Esports.